Intercultural communication originated at the Freeman's Pogli Institute. Edward Hall and other anthropologists taught their listeners about the concept of culture and about the macro-level details of specific cultures. But diplomats and technicians were not impressed. The trainees complained to Hall that what anthropologists were telling them was of little practical value to them. They insisted that they need to understand how to effectively communicate with people whose cultures differ from their own. Hello everyone, my name is Anastasia Shevchenko. I'm an expert in intercultural communications at La Classe and today we will talk about the origins of the intercultural communication science. Following complaints from diplomats, Edward Hall began meeting every weekday afternoon with George Trager to discuss how to rethink the FSI anthropology curriculum. They wanted to combine linguistic and anthropological views into a practical model. As part of their collaboration, in 1953 they wrote the study guide The Analysis of Culture, where communication was the most important aspect. Hall concluded, culture is communication, and communication is culture. For the first time, they've empathized aspects of space and time at the micro level and suggested the influence that we call nonverbal communication. Their analysis of nonverbal communication was borrowed from Freud's psychoanalytic theory. The interns of the Foreign Service Institute were very receptive to the new paradigm of intercultural communication. And you too, feel free to comment. <laughs> share, put the like button, sharing is kind, and of course, subscribe to the Intercultural Communication channel, the most open and intercultural YouTube channel that was Anastasia Shevchenko for you. Thank you.